My name is Lee Polly. My name is Tyler Fugarino. Uh, my name is Tim Cole. I'm Nathan Anderson. Uh, my name is Delisa Yancey. Crystal Rose Fogarino. I'm Kelly Nows. I'm uh, Brandon Semler. I came from Norfolk, Virginia. From Minneapolis, Minnesota. Salmonac, Illinois. Pittsburgh, PA. From Halifax, Virginia. Circle around me. Kind of back up, make it big. Big enough for everybody. And I joined the Navy to see the world. To get out of Pennsylvania. Some new experiences. To serve my country. It's because of college education. To get myself somewhere in life. And I joined the Navy because I believe in service and giving back. Tonight when you get off the bus, you will see two sets of uniforms. First set will look like mine. Black pants, khaki top, silver collar device. You will call them petty officer. Second set of uniforms you will see tonight. Khaki pants, khaki top, and gold collar devices. You will call them chief. I feel like, you know, being an American, we're given a wide array of freedoms that a lot of, that a lot of other people don't get. Like, they don't get to experience the freedoms that we do, so I'm willing to fight for them. I'm looking forward to challenging myself, bettering myself, and getting a career. I'm looking forward to structure. I'm looking forward to learning new things and being part of the Navy team. My grandfathers were in the service, so kind of following in their footsteps. It's very important to my family that I do this and do it well. I like the fact that it's going to mentally push me and hopefully physically too. And I just want to be able to say I accomplished it. I did boot camp. I made it through. Say move. Watch. Rings with exception of wedding band or engagement ring. You will take that out and put it inside your pocket. You got one minute. Move. When you finish making your phone call, and this double doors right here. First person that comes out, they phone you. Go to the first person in line. Give them your phone. You will walk right back in here. And you will stay with your cell phone at all times. Do you understand? Yes. You will not go outside these double doors. You will stay in these double, inside these double doors. That's it. All right, go. Your two minutes start when you get in contact with someone. Hello? Yeah. Welcome to the I uh, got up here safe. Yep, it's gonna be interesting, but it's gonna be fun. So, and approximately three weeks, I'll call you again. And gosh, damn, what was the third thing? Tell me about the package. About two, three weeks. You'll be getting a box with all my stuff in it. Yeah, for three weeks. I have to go. It has to be short. That's about all I got time to say. Stand up. Grab everything you came with. Bag, jacket, backpack, shirt. If you have a box. You want to put it on the flag, on the toe line, just like when you first got on here. That sheet of paper you got when you first got here, the one that says duty bag, you step on the machine, you just either circle ST, MC, CU. Medium cushion, go. Medium stability, go. Medium stability, go. All right, all your civilian stuff you want to put behind you on the blue, on the blue tab. I want the small size up front, largest in the back. Example, seven, eight, or whatever the biggest one is. Figure it out, let's go. Four through 10 is here. 12 to 20. Two boxes out, put them in a top. Love me. 11 and a half medium. You're gonna get two unopened packages of underwear, two single pair of underwear. What you done with that? You're gonna get one roll of yellow shirts. There's two shirts rolled up. You're gonna get one sweat top, one sweat pants. So You're gonna get a pair of shorts, a roll of shorts. What you done with that? Over here it says shower shoes. Just grab the side that fits your feet. What you done with that? Over here, there's gloves. Try the gloves on, make sure they fit. If they don't fit, put them back in the plastic. Large. Large. Put them in your large knit bag. Fall back behind the box you're standing behind right now.
Chief, you want an aviation order, sir? My name is Chief Rubio, uh, GSE. My name is Deanne Polino, I'm a PS1. Craig Roberts, I'm Petty Officer First Class. I'm Shara Dickerson, I'm a corpsman. Eric Malker, uh, Operations Specialist, I've been in the Navy for 20 years. Been in the Navy 18 years? For almost 15 years. 16 years? 20 years? I've been in the Navy for six years. Call your name, what you're gonna do, you're gonna respond with whatever your name is. For instance, if your name is Smith, you're gonna stand up Smith, Chief. I chose being RDC because uh, as, as you serve at sea, you wanna uh, find something in the Navy that you can fix. So if it sounds like close to your name, that's probably you. Nope. Yeah. What I've learned through the Navy and the experiences that I've, at each different command that I've been to, I've picked up something that I feel I can pass on to the, basically the youth of the Navy. Last recruit to say last recruit to let her know you're the last person in that line. Do you understand me? Yes, she. You got to get a little louder than that. Yes, she. Like I said, 18 years, so as I leave the Navy, I kind of want to leave something behind, something positive. And I think the best thing I could do is just leave a positive shader out there. Go grab that door. Go grab it. Yeah, go grab that door. Move with the purpose. All right, spot out. Let's go. Last recruit. Let's go. Let's go. Days is the processing days. Basically, when you when you get the recruits and you, you can set the tone right then, and you train say f from the beginning up until the end. As long as you set that um, strong foundation, it's like building a house. Uh, and the recruits say, "I was going to have that strong foundation to follow." But if you, you, you got to go hard from the, from the beginning. Okay. Leave your seat bags there. Let's go. Leave your covers there too. Nope. Follow on the line. Let's go. Yeah. Everything is done orderly fashion. Leave your covers there. For each push, you always want to learn something new. You always learn something new because you have 88 recruits. You have new recruits every time. So the experiences for each push is different, so you'll always learn something new. It's a, the melting pot that comes from the United States. And you, you mix them all together and you learn something new every time. You're in that mindset that you're gonna help somebody. You know, you're excited about helping somebody and you wanna change somebody's life and you know you're gonna do that. You might change quite a few lives in here and it's gonna be awesome. And so you get kind of get excited and you kind of can't wait to start working. Hey, let's go. We got a lot of stuff to do. You come back at the tip. Hurry up. Let's it's a military go. bearing. Put your hands to the side. Look, you ain't in New Orleans no more. You're in the United States Navy. We don't have any badasses here, all right? Ain't nobody trying to get over you. Ain't nobody trying to hurt you. We are here trying to help you. Once you understand that, it's gonna be an easy day. You understand? Yes, Chief. What you did back home, what you did, I don't care. I don't care what you had to do, who you had to hang with, that's what you had to do. Here in the Navy, you're going to be part of a team. And this team's going to help you. We're not going to judge you, we're going to help you. You understand? Yes, Chief. All right. The mission here at Recruit Training Command is to take civilians and in eight and a half or nine weeks turn them into basically trained sailors. We're making yes, sailors that understand the rules, mission, that can go on to their follow-on A schools and, uh, and learn the, the more ad advanced things that they need to uh, for success in their ships or in their aviation squadrons. Figure it out, figure it out. Use two hands. That's the crew division commanders, they do, a, they do a phenomenal job of helping uh, instill the concept of teamwork because when the, when the recruits come in here, probably uh, this is the first time where they've been judged by the performance of their team and not by their own personal performance. Uh, a lot of them don't necessarily understand that concept. And uh, we, have to, we have to drive that home. Oh. That's what we do. We help each other out. You understand that? Once you figure something out, you know nobody else knows how to do it. You help him. Yes, Chief. It's easy. You understand? Yes, Chief. All right. Who's never saved before? Raise your hand. I'm going to tell you what parts we're going to save. You're going to save, it's like this, the part of your ear here. I didn't say way up here. No. Like right here. We're going to be in there to instruct you. No lean on my bulk, King. Uh, Take your time and get it right. All the way down. Like the middle of your ear. I didn't say go way up there. If you want to look at, uh, look at my shave right around the middle of my ear. All the way down. Let's go. 
All right, go. All right. Look up. All right, go. Cut that out. You should have shaved that before you came to the Navy. Another couple of things that we work on very hard is, is attention to detail and then uh, I'll call it a little bit of critical thinking so that they understand the decision making implications that come very close to, uh, to, to graduation here. You're going to write that you assume the watch more does before. Look, it's in red. It means you're going to leave this here. He's going to replace you and cover the door. And the other piece is that, uh, that we need to follow the rules in the Navy and the, and the Navy has certain expectations for the rules that they follow. They, they can't pick some rules to follow and some rules not to follow. They need to follow all the rules. And their last name, okay? Yes. After you do that, you are going to go to the far right on the next line. You're going to put your first initial, your middle initial, your last name, all in cursive. Yes, yes, video. Underneath that, you're going to write... Train recruits is great. Um, there's no textbook to show you exactly how to do it. You just got to find the right tool to fit, fit the situation. We've invested a lot of time in y'all. We expect y'all to perform. Understand? Yes, Chief. We're trying to send a great product out to the fleet. We're trying to send the best product out to the fleet. Everybody understand? Yes, Chief. All right. If you ain't learned nothing, I ain't going home. We'll stay up all night till I teach you something. At least one, two things. Everybody learn something. One day we might get this ship underway. That's my objective here. Be able to get this division, start performing together. You must have some heart to do this job. Chief and I, we go hard in the paint. Understand that? Yes, yes, yes. Hard in the paint. We, we take the ball up hard, you know. Sometimes we expect to foul. Y'all been fouling me like all day. All right, we start off. We start off 88. We still got 88 in here. My goal here is to graduate everybody in this compartment. Anybody ready to quit? No, no I can't hear you. No, team. Where's the motivation at? I expect every morning we come here, you need to be motivated. I don't care we work long hours. Learn those general orders. Learn that RTC maximum. Learn the chain of command, all that good stuff. Every day is a training day. There's no time to rest. So everybody wants to be here? Yes, Chief! Do we have any heart here? Yes, Chief! Do we have any heart? Yes, Chief! Prepare them out, Rex! Sleep. <laughs>